Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. 97% of the Earth's water is found in the ocean. That leaves us with 3% of fresh water. Being a passionate angler for the past 22 years, it is what lies beneath the surface that gets me excited. Catching fish gets my adrenaline up, whether it is small, big, angry, beautiful, salt or fresh water, as long as my rod is bending, I am happy. Everyone has their goals, dreams and aspirations. I have dedicated my life to visit as many of my bucket list destinations as possible. We only live once, I might as well live it to the fullest. Searching for the most incredible destinations over the world, I thought I would start with the bucket list destination I have been wanting to do for years. Catching yellowfish in the Orange River on light spinning tackle. The Orange River is South Africa's longest river. It's about 2,200 kilometers long. It starts at the mountains of Lesotho in the east. It runs northwest until it meets the Atlantic Ocean on the west coast of Africa. Fuel's Drift was our chosen location where the Orange River separates the South African border from Namibia. Green vegetation covers the banks of the Orange. With a vast desert just beyond the Rocky Mountains. This river teems with fish like largemouth yellowfish, smallmouth yellowfish, mudfish, barbel and many more smaller species. Welcome to Zuluk Fishing. My name is Zander de Beer and I'm addicted to fishing. Yeah, boy! That's the first one for the morning. Yeah, <laughs> guys, it's really something different and a lot of fun. Jeez, <laughs> it's unbelievable. These all fish are incredibly strong in these currents and um, they use the current to their advantage at all times. <laughs> so boy. Yeah. What a beautiful place this is. It's like it's like I've left South Africa and I'm in a total different country. Absolutely stunning. There we go. One little smally. Work him out here. Not the biggest of fish 
but at least the account is open this morning. There we go. Got him a little crab imitation. There we go. First little smallmouth for the morning. Not the biggest fish, but um, it's a bite nonetheless. Let's get him back. What a beautiful fish. Oh, they're beautiful guys. Look at those colors. Stunning fish. It's just incredible seeing the fish. We check bobble in those, in these rapids. The mud is all just all over the place. It's, yeah, you know, it's insane. So satisfying seeing such a healthy system still in South Africa, and it, it's basically untouched. Two or three throws in a rapid, and then we move on to the next one. Oh, thorns! Nah, got me. What the hell? That was such a gentle take. <laughs> Just felt pressure and I was on. <laughs> Don't you think it's a big fish? Small, smally. Yeah. Oh, I don't know I get. Oh, it's slightly better, jeez. It's a better fish. Guys, this trip is really something that I've wanted to do for years and years. Never got to do it. And um, this year, so it's stuff this, I'm coming. Better one than the previous one. There we go. Alright, no, I'm still not. Now we can sew it. There we go. Guys, there's another little yellow. And um, you know, we've got Sean and Jono from iFish with us um, they're the guys that make the assassin rods and they brought some samples with and guys they really really amazing rods they're going to be launched really soon I'm fishing the Infinity 7 foot ultra light and guys it's got some pulling power it's super super light it weighs basically nothing in your hand and um, got 8 pound braid on that little reel and guys, it's so, so enjoyable fishing with this outfit and uh, they covered all bases with these um, there's medium heavy, there's medium lights, there's mediums there's a, a whole range of them and um, guys be on the lookout for them I think this has improved the point with these infinities um, yeah, they're amazing but they are it's about the fish not about the rods like a like yellow Chilling here, threw a barbel bait out because um, the guys got stuffed up by some really big barbel while fishing for largies. So, what will a, a orange strip be without trying to catch one of the pretty lazies? I actually just need a beer to chill here, then everything would be perfect. Yeah. Hey 
Yeah, Bobo. The orange. <laughs> Ja, ist der, ja. Nie unrilep, ja. Hey, hey, egal. Das ist ein bisschen ding different. Ja, danke. Das Ding. Mouth and it's still a small one. Catfish. I just had to catch one bobble and get it out of the system. After I landed the bobble, we went back for some lunch, ice cold beers, and then we came back for the afternoon bite, targeting the yellows again. So we had a lack of lunch and a good couple of beers and um, refueled and energized. And now we're off to fish for the yellows again. On the in the afternoon session starting a bit lower and they're gonna work our way up and there's old jeff you got a lacquer smallie and a lacquer largey in the morning session so he's grafting again but uh yeah looking forward to some fish this afternoon Ja? Okay. My cousin Leonard was the first one to lose a fish in the afternoon session. It was a muddy on a crab invitation. Thereafter, he continued to catch two more muddies in two consecutive muddy. casts. The afternoon bite proved to be very rewarding with the smallmouth yellows, and we caught quite a good number of smallmouth yellows. Yes, this is a great Maria. A monster. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and all around. The Glenda just got a muddy. <laughs> also, <laughs> this is a huge muddy. Chicken mouth. <laughs> yes, it's massive muddy. Awesome. Like it. Yes, this is a monster muddy. Sim, a crap is much better. Sim, what? Rara! Joe! Yeah. Well, Leonard is on again! <laughs> awesome! What's that? No Yeah. No way! Jeez! Yes, <laughs> sir! Damn it. Look at this fish against the current. How is that possible? Oh, just the slippery. <laughs> so I need to get on top of it. Jeez, look at all these muddies. Um, otherwise it's gonna cut me off. Which side of the... There we go. Oh, another one. I mean, guys, remember, I'm only fishing 8 pound braid. Jeez, that's got me proper in the rocks. All over the place. Oh, damn it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, shit, oh, sure, but man. Guys, this is a nice thing. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's a big smallie. Jeez. Oh, my word. Yes, it's fun on this eight pound braid. <coughs> and guys, guys, this infinity seven foot new rods from Assassin are amazing. Super light. They've got a lot of backbone. And look at that bend. It is ridiculous. 
rod weighs nothing in my hands. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Oh, got him. Ooh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at this beautiful thing. No. That's a big small mouth. Jeez, I would love to measure this fish, but if there's no time to measure it, I don't have measuring things with me. But it is a plus. Yo, beautiful. Look at those colors. Look at that mouth. The bottom feeding. Catching crabs in the rapids all day long. Stunning fish. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, let's see what he Yo, this is lucky guys. Yo. I'm really relaxing at this stage. Yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving every single second of this trip. You guys need to experience it. It's absolutely amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, <I> like it. <laughs> Guys, this is so much fun. <laughs> it's. Oh, damn it. Round the rock. You are walking in this rapids, battling to stay on your feet, and then. Uh, <laughs> and then you throw every little opening and a little rapid section that you can find if you think that will hold a fish you just throw your bait in there and let it drift down naturally and um, trying to find them yeah this current's not making it easy get it a bit of out of the current okay. there we go smaller fish but it's a fish nonetheless Another goodie. It feels like a goodie. It's amazing. You feel the rocks. You feel your lure bounce, bounce, bounce on the rocks. And then just all of a sudden you feel like, well, this rock is a little bit different. <laughs> and then it steams off. Unfortunately, I wasn't, no, I wasn't recording while um, I made the throw. So I wasn't recording while I made the throw, so I couldn't get the strike on camera. And everyone is there on the other side, fishing it all, doing their own thing. So no one, no one yet to call me. Oh, looks like another good one. Oh, very aggressive. Mm.
one breaking. Another good one. Another good one. Not as big as the previous one or the, the bigger one, the first fish that in the afternoon session. Uh, definitely bigger. Uh, come on. Jeez. Got him. Ne ai ce-i vrei? 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 Guide himself. Beautiful orange yellow. What the hell just happened? <laughs> that was insane! <laughs> the crab was stuck! <laughs> that little crab was stuck! And I came to unloosen it and then all of a sudden it came out and it's screamed off against the current. I don't know what the hell I heard. Late afternoon fish. It's been falling around on these rocks, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no joke. Ooh. 
falling around in these rocks. My shins are done. <laughs> and uh, fighting this current the whole day. Now you know why these yellow fish are so strong because they're fighting this current 24 7, 365 days a year. And uh, they feel nothing for this current. Yellow, yellow. Those hooks are so tiny, you can't really force the fish. Really. Come on, boy. Walk him out. Get him out of this current. He knows, he knows. Not even such a big one. <laughs> <It's> so feisty. <laughs> Getting back. One more throw. 